Hi everybody. Welcome to the live stream. Welcome replay viewers. This is Celia Faye Meisel, mindset and marketing coach and Akashic, Empower expert, Akashic Empowerment expert for high frequency biz owners, change makers, and energy workers. And those three types of people that I work with are really empaths and sensitives and intuitives and just people that are super emotional and feel all the feels. <laughs> So this is a safe space for you if if that's who you are. Um, this is you know this is something that I've been working on for a long time in my coaching business with my clients and teaching them to really love themselves and embody themselves and um, embody their gifts. And through my journey online, working with different mentors and coaches and programs. Um, you know, I've been really seeking to know myself and get to know my truth and, um, really find my true tribe and my true people, my true community. So it's really exciting to, to be here with you, whether you're alive or on the replay. And if you are catching the replay, if you want to say hi, if you feel like stepping out of your comfort zone and saying hi and let me know you're watching, I'd love that. Love to know where you're from since we are a global community here. Um, so today we're going to talk a little bit about what it feels like to have a mindset breakthrough um, and how really shifting out of karmic patterns um, will lead to an entirely new energetic experience for the empaths and the sensitives and the intuitives. So this is this applies whether you're, you know, if you're not in your own business, my, I gen, because I teach mindset and marketing, I generally like to talk to biz owners who want to learn how to grow their business and um, you know, support with entrepreneurship because that's something that I'm really passionate about and I believe that it's like the gateway to the true ultimate freedom in this lifetime. Um, so we're going to be talking a little bit about this, some of these things and you can go back and watch some of my videos here on this page over the last couple of months where I've been talking a little bit more about the karmic patterns and changing your karma. Um, but so karma, we're going to work our way backwards <laughs> Um, so what really what karma means is it has to do with groups of people. So a lot of people feel like um, if I have karma, then it's like something personal about me, like I'm experiencing karma. But when we really expand our viewpoint of what the energy of karma means, karma always, in, um, it has to do with groups of people. So it has to do with family um, and business. It's going to have to do with like the types of coaches you try, attract, the types of clients that you attract. Um, it can also have to do with your communities. But there's always like karmic lessons that are involved. And then you can shift your energy and shift out of karma so that you create a new reality for yourself. And um, I want you to know that this is possible for you. And it's actually can be instantaneously possible. Um, because I find that a karmic shift is what will really facilitate a, um, a miracles happening in somebody's business where they're going from, you know, not making the cash flow that they want to make to suddenly having, um, you know, a, a whole new reality in front of them. It's the karmic shift, but what comes with the karmic shift is the mindset shifts and the mindset breakthroughs. So I have been going through many, many breakthroughs over the last 90 days. Um, I've, I've experienced some profound fundamental shifts. Uh, some of them I consciously took on and went for, and some things happened to me and experienced. And I tell these, I've been telling the story. Again, you can go back and watch my feed and watch these videos from the Infinitely Empowered page and kind of piece together some of the stories and read my marketing posts about some of the things I've been through in the last several months. Um, but I found that when I was really going through challenges, personal challenges, that my best gift that I could give to myself was to not sit around and worry or sit around and stress because that doesn't feel good and that's not in my frequency. So what I was drawn to was creativity, writing, getting really serious about my marketing process, building out a program that, I w that felt totally aligned, structuring it, getting feedback from aligned mentors, um, hiring an aligned team member that I work really, really well with who is multi-talented and multi-gifted and she's just amazing. 
letting go of the people that weren't aligned. So I've been having these like ongoing, ongoing, or letting go of the team members that weren't aligned, um, having these ongoing, ongoing mindset shifts and mindset breakthroughs. But I knew that there was something in the core that needed to be addressed and I couldn't figure out what it was. And for me as a sensitive and on the scale of um, sensitivity, sort of like autism has a spectrum, we sensitives have a spectrum, right? Um, And, you know, I don't know, I don't think sensitivity is sort of like a a medical diagnosis, but if you have, if you know somebody in your family that has autism, you know that, you know, the level and there, and autism also comes with high sensitivity as well, right? So you know that there's like different points. So I really recently had the discovery and the awakening to just how sensitive I was, like on the scale of you know, somewhat sensitive, mildly sensitive to like the highest level of sensitivity that one could possibly have, that's where I fall on the sensitivity spectrum. So it was something that I I always knew I was sensitive, but I didn't know that it was like a a positive in my life. (laughs) And I would meet clients and I would meet women that were really sensitive and I would be like, hey, it's okay. Like, go cry, go cry it out. And I could really coach my clients through, through those breakthroughs and, and, and like giving them permission, giving themselves permission to be sensitive and to be emotional. Um, but it wasn't something that I could really give myself. And I think it was because I hadn't really found anybody um, in my life that could hold that space for me energetically. I, d- I didn't know, I hadn't really met any coaches uh, that really saw me in that light um, of like the, the deep, deep, deep sensitivity. And once I started to attract people into my life that acknowledged that within me as like a, as a beauty and as a gift, that's why I really started to give myself new levels of permission, which was like the creativity and the writing and not letting myself stress because my life doesn't look a certain way that I think it should look or, you know, whatever the things, the little stories I was telling myself. So it's been building and building and building to really having this breakthrough. And so I would say as a sensitive for me, um, all that's been going on with the weather and, you know, watching people lose their homes and devastation across the planet. And then, um, you know, and then coming into, uh, you know, with the, with the hurricanes and everything. And, of course, fires and floods and just all of that. And then going through some, some challenges with my family of, um, you know, close family members having some, you know, some difficulties that I can't personally go in and coach them through, you know, they've got to work it out on their own and what else. Um, and then yesterday, the anniversary of 9-11, like all of that just really for me just rises up and I feel it all and I don't always know how to process it energetically. So in all of that emotion of seeing everybody else's pain and seeing the pl- the pain of the planet, I'm able to then go in and reflect on my own on my own pains and my own sensitivities and where my mindset and my energy isn't allowing me to really have that karmic shift that to the full capacity that it's ready for. And so my breakthrough was tears. It was crying and it was memories, memories that I had forgotten coming up and coming up and coming up and to the point that I was able to put together a story from pretty much my whole life, from little girl to maybe middle school to high school to college to grad school of this story um, that was, it basically went like Celia does not deserve to have um, abundance, like lush abundance, like, you know, 20000 30000 $50,000. I mean, seriously, like it was a lot, it always had to do with like large purchases, large, large amounts of receiving. So it was the story, like Celia doesn't deserve, well, Celia, if Celia gets that, 
then cilia creates it then it creates problems it creates it creates fights it creates um, discontentment it creates pain Th- that was the story and it was it was twofold it was a karmic story because it had to do with family it had to do with my business it had to do with clients um, and then it also was a life lesson. It was something that I kept, it kept showing up, showing up, showing up. So it was twofold where it was personal, but then was also group related. So I had to go into that space and I had to feel it <laughs> and I had to journal it out and I had to write about it and I had to cry and I needed to cry and cry and cry. And, you know, if I couldn't sleep, I didn't sleep. And if I needed to write, I wrote and Like the story just had to come out of me. I couldn't just sit with it, okay? And all of a sudden, I had the answer. It was the breakthrough. And it wasn't me sitting alone. Like it had to be facilitated in my life. I had to attract the people who would be open enough to love me and not try to talk me out of it, right? Because if you are sensitive and intuitive and empathic, chances are in your life when you feel the feels people try to talk you out of it because it makes them uncomfortable for somebody to be so deep and they're not like that and so then they try to shut you down and then you allow them to put that energy on you that makes you kind of like disown yourself so I needed to have that experience facilitated towards me for me so I could see the whole picture and the whole story okay So for me, the mindset breakthrough is crying. It's talking it out like this. It's going in all the story and continuing to review it and review the story and review the story and and understand the story and find out why it's happening and why it's there and keep just getting to the deeper, deeper root every single day, every single week, every single month while I'm feeling in a space of obstacle so that I can have my breakthrough, okay? And... Where you where you are on the sensitivity and the energetic spectrum of your own emotions, this is going to be an indicator to you of how much time you need. Now, karmically and energetically within the Akash, we have different patterns of cycles. So there's a way to find out where you are in patterns of cycles. So I know how my my cyclic pattern, cyclical patterns work now, karmically, um, that I know like how long it's going to take me to overcome an obstacle and kind of get through to the other side karmically. Like I can kind of read the energy and read the cycles now. And that's part of my recent breakthrough. But if I wasn't willing to say divine spirit, Cilia, soul, auric being, like all of it. If I wasn't really willing to say I'm ready to shift and I'm ready to change my karma, I wouldn't be able to t- be able to talk to you about this. I wouldn't be able to express the story and really go through the process and talk about the process because I didn't have my breakthrough, I didn't have my shift. So the point for you is that on the other side of your mindset breakthrough and your karmic shifts, are the desires that you want. And right now you can even be manifesting your desires, but because your energetic vibration, your energetic field isn't totally supporting you because you're still kind of like disowning yourself or you still have these misaligned relationships or you have the misaligned coaches or you're trying to get the empathic, the empath coached out of you. Um, you know, you're going to continue to really suffer at a deep level. And, you know, we're observers, right? We're intuitives and we're empaths and we watch. Like we know. I mean, that's, that's a psychic gift. That's a high clear sense where we're on social media and we're watching and we're reading the energy and we're decoding and we see it all and you can't really, it's hard to hide stuff from us because we just know even though like we know without knowing. We don't know that we know how much we know, <laughs> if that makes sense. So it's like we're always watching and we're still drawn to the, we can still be drawn to those things that aren't aligned and there's still ways to, to get the benefit of something. Even if it's not totally energetically aligned, you can still get the benefit from it, but maybe you don't consume the content in the same way. 
Um, so I want to give, two, I think, like two examples. One was a, a lady who I, I found, on, I connected with through Facebook, who is a spiritual teacher. And she makes a lot, a lot of money. She's not a business coach. I mean, she's a straight up spiritual teacher. She's, she's done big launches, made big, big money. She has a huge following. And I watched a live stream of hers where she said, if you think you are an empath, you are wrong. You are wrong. Okay. And this was like maybe two months ago. And of course, if you saw my post or my blog that's posted here today about like you can't have a sensitivity and the empath coached out of you, (laughs) that went into my memory of my file bank of like, you know, all of the records of information. And I was like, wait a second. Okay, this woman is not a sensitive and she is not an empath. And obviously she's attracting sensitives and empaths and she's coaching it out of them because they're looking for answers and they see this woman who's making money and doing good in her business and of course they want her to help them or whatever. So she was co- she was a spiritual teacher coaching the sensitivity and coaching the empath out of it. And it is a recipe for disaster, disaster, okay? Like tornado, hurricane, disaster in your energy field okay then there was another woman there's like a group of coaches and they all kind of have like the same energy the same kind of marketing energy and they start and they are spiritual coaches and they're like you just need to get out there and do it and blah 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 and you know just like very blanket like this is how it is and come work with me and you know and I know I know I know I know that they're drawing in like empathic and intuitive type people in that think that they're going to get results because it's like just follow your intuition but then where's the sensitivity because if we only as as empathic people if we only follow the sensitivity or no, I'm sorry, if we only follow the intuition, that's just one part of it. The intuition is just one element, one layer of your complex, intense, diverse beingness. The intuition is just one element. There is so much more to you, and it has to do with your feelings and your emotions and your vibe. And, um, you know, you're a gift, okay? Okay. And I know that I feel that on the high spectrum of um, intuition and empathic ability and sensitivity actually comes what's called transference healing. And I had an experience recently and my family, um, and I've had this many times before, but I didn't know what I was, what it was happening, but I am literally a transference healer where my husband had a pain in his leg and The day after he was like, he or two or three days after we figured out kind of what was going on, he felt better and my I started to have pain in that area in my own body. Like, I don't know how to explain that, okay? But there are people that will tell you like there's something wrong, you're not supposed to take on the pains of others. But I'm telling you that if we are misaligned to our own to the to the wrong type of energy to the wrong type of support, that's what's going to happen is you you basically, you go around and you pick up everybody else's pain and you don't know why because you're not able to acknowledge who you are at your deepest levels. So the first thing for me to facilitate a mindset breakthrough for you today, okay, because that's what I want if you're watching this far and you're resonating, I want to facilitate a mindset breakthrough for you today, okay? And what I want you to do is I want you to go back to childhood and I want you to look go back you can do a meditation um, where you can kind of reconnect with your inner child but I want you to go back in and just take some time in quiet silence or um, music with no words you know more vibrational meditational music meditational meditation music go back to that little girl and look at mom and dad look at grandma and grandpa Look at your stepmom and stepdad. Who were the people in your life? And who told you that it was bad or wrong to be sensitive? Who told you that you weren't allowed to cry? 
who told you that you weren't allowed to feel emotion or who controlled you so that they only could dictate to you when you felt emotion. When they were punishing you, it was okay to feel emotion, okay? Who in those people, who in your life were those people? Because I want to tell you that there is nothing wrong with you, that you are beautiful and you are so special. You are incredibly, incredibly special and that you don't have to live that way anymore. You do not have to live that way anymore, okay? That is not how you are. And so you can see in, um, today there's a post I posted on my Instagram and shared to my biz page here. And it says, whatever happened in the past, it doesn't matter. And so that's what I want to tell you. I want you to tell yourself today, whatever happened in the past, it doesn't matter. Whatever happened in the past, it doesn't matter. Whatever happened in the past, it doesn't matter. And, and, and say it to yourself and say it to yourself so that you can facilitate your mindset breakthrough over the next couple days, over the next couple weeks, and start to have that deep forgiveness of yourself. Because that is where the pain comes from, is that, the pe- that people taught you that it was okay to reject yourself for being sensitive and empathic and intuitive and emotional, that, it was, that that was what they taught was okay, and that you believed it. And by you believing that your sensitivity and your empathy are wrong, you reject yourself and you stunt your growth. You stunt your ability to make money every month. You you stunt your ability to have fun and to have joyful experiences. Because I'm going to tell you something. Some of these coaches that I were following that were talking about only doing the intuition and you've got to do this and you've got to do that and then you have the breakthrough. For us sensitives and empaths and intuitives and high frequency biz owners, that when we are in alignment, it is ultimate peace and ultimate joy. And that when we are going through the up-leveling process, it's more about healing It's more about reclaiming our power and reclaiming our worth and reclaiming the value of service and the value of who you are and the contribution that you have to make to the world. Okay? That is what it's about. It is the most beautiful thing. And at the same time, you feel the feels. You cry when you when you feel. I have had moments recently where I am so happy and so joyful that I want that I'm crying because I'm so happy and I'm so joyful. And then I get sad and I'm so sad that I feel so sad, you know. And then when I'm in that you know in that middle state, I you know I I can fluctuate between the highs and the lows, and it's okay. Like that's that's who I am. So that is your invitation is to to facilitate the mindset breakthrough by going back into childhood and remembering the people that told you that it wasn't okay to be who you were because that's in simple terms, that's what it was. And saying whatever happened in the past, it doesn't matter. Whatever happened in the past, it doesn't matter. Whatever happened in the past, it doesn't matter. And you say it all day long if you have to. (laughs) And start to watch the memories come up more and more that maybe you need to heal and meditate and have your mindset break through because on the other side of it is your wealth. On the other side of it is your fully booked client practice. If you want 50 clients, if you want two clients, it doesn't matter. You can have whatever you want, okay? You want group coaching, boom, you've got it. You want private clients, you got it. You want to work one day a month, you got it. Like, seriously, because you have your own business, you get to set the terms. So if you want more support and you want to know more about the work that I do and the breakthrough that is possible for you when somebody opens that space for you to fully be who you are and fully express who you are at the deepest levels. There's a link in the comments here or a link in the um, profile. It's the celiafaymeisel.clickfunnels.com forward slash infinitely empowered dash waitlist and you can sign up and you can get access to immediate access to a free meditation called activate your individuality and it's actually um, a way if you need that healing process facilitated for you because maybe you're like Celia 
I don't know how to go into deep meditation and heal my inner child and forgive these people. Sign up for that um, and, and you'll get immediate access to a link where you can watch the, the I think it's like six, 45 minutes. You'll want to do it in like private time. You don't want to have people around because um, you want you may cry and have a breakthrough and you just need to be undisturbed when you're meditating anyway. But you can sign up for that. And then as my free trainings come, um, I'm creating a market research kind of program, uh, market research, free market research training for high frequency biz owners. And then also launching Shine Online, which is a, um, a group immersion um, to teach you how to market, teach you how to connect with your soulful superpower to shine online and restructure your biz model so you can work and like have plenty of time to be the sensitive person that you are. All right, so that is what I have for you today. Um, if you have questions, just type them in the comments. But until next time, this is Celia Faye Meisel, and I will see you soon. Bye.